yes, you can play chords on the fretless guitar. I composed that short piece to illustrate that point. And chords on the fretless guitar can be quite beautiful. However, you must think of them slightly differently than you would on a standard fretted guitar. In general, the open string folk chords that everyone learns when they learn standard guitar, the C's, the G's, the D's, the A's, in which you put three fingers down, uh, they don't work as well on the fretless guitar. They're too hard to intonate, play all the notes in tune correctly. It, my philosophy for chords on the fretless guitar is less is more. Let me explain. A chord, as you know, is three or more notes played at the same time. You can play open strings, but obviously you're limited to one chord. With one finger, you can play a bass line, you could play a melody with a chord underneath, say melody on top, or you can play an inner voice. Each has their effect and their use. However, you're still just playing a static harmony. One of my favorite chord shapes is the two-fingered chord shape. I probably use this more than any other shape when playing chords. And what I mean is this. Two fingers will be fretted, fretting notes while I am also playing open strings. And they can look either like this in which they're lined up or they can be offset like that or that or that or that, or if I want to stretch, something like that. My favorite thing to do is to have the fretted notes be the bass and the melody note and have the open strings as the inner voices. So I might get something like... And in this case, the distance between the bass and melody, the fretted notes, was a compound interval, more than an octave. But you could still have uh, intervals be thirds or fourths or fifths or sixths. So here's thirds, fourths, fifths, or sixths. The bar chord. The bar chord is the hardest type of shape to intonate correctly on the fretless guitar. As such, it is the least frequently played shape. And when I do play it, it is often only barring two strings or three strings, and when I'm playing something that has staccato chords. context, it can be great. However, if I'm trying to sustain a chord, I rarely use the bar chord. Don't even think about trying to do the standard shapes that we learn on fretted guitar, The, in this case, uh, six string major shape or the five string minor shape. Those just are impractical to keep in tune and they just don't resonate. And I think this is one of the reasons why people have, uh, some people have this misconception that you can't play chords on the fretless guitar simply because they go to either the standard uh, bar chord shapes that they're used to learning or their standard open string shapes. Okay, open strings. Now, besides filling out the harmony in a two-fingered chord, open strings provide two essential uh, benefits. First, they're always in tune. So they provide or they act as reference pitches for us to intonate our fretted notes to. Secondly, they add resonance to the chord. Think about it. There's one circumstance in which the fretted guitar and the fretless guitar sound exactly the same. And that's when you're playing open strings. As a matter of fact, it's one of the things that makes 
chords on fretless sound so beautiful is when you have a combination of some open strings and some fretted notes that have uh, vibrato or glissando added to them. It's a very beguiling sound that you can't get on a standard guitar. <laughs> The short piece that I played at the beginning of the video is an etude that I composed to help students play chords more in their fretless guitar playing. I suggest downloading it. I will link it below and I notated in, it notated it in standard notation and in uh, tablature and give it a try. And tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's difficult or if it's not. And my goal is to give you something to uh, work on to help you play chords better. And even more importantly, to inspire you to write music, whether you're composing or improvising, just to write more music that use more chords to help uh, explore the potential of chords on the fretless guitar. Just remember, less is more.